Hello, everybody. Um, I got really excited today thinking about more use cases for Trello. And this is not a new one, but I realize it's probably a fairly common one that most people are using Google Docs to organize their meetings. And nothing against Google Docs, they're great. But in this video, I want to show you why I think Trello actually works better than using Google Docs to organize your meeting agendas, notes, and action items. So here we go. First of all, let's just look at the basic structure. You're probably going to have something that looks a little bit like this in your Google Doc that has the date and time, agenda items, participants, any action items. Super simple, super clean, you know, nothing too crazy or exciting. And just to compare what that could look like in Trello, I'm imagining something kind of similar where you've got, I'm just going to get rid of this extra list for now. Actually, no, we'll leave that. That's my template. Um, you've got this sort of list of you know, the date and time, participants, agenda items, action items, you know, pretty simple, sorted by these headers, whatever you want to do there. Okay, so boom, each agenda item is its own sort of card. So discuss new meeting format, whatever you want to put there, each card is an action item, super easy to do. So now let's kind of go back and forth and talk about which one's better. One category I want to think about is the ease of setup. And I actually almost have to give this to Google Docs because I don't know if you've noticed, but um, if you go to the calendar in your Google Docs and bring up, let's say, some sort of meeting, there's actually this handy take meetings note button that once you click it, it will generate something kind of similar to what you just saw, where it has the date, the meeting name, the attendees, notes, and action items. Um, I think that's cool. I, I mean, I'm going to give, give Google Docs a point for that. So I think it's really handy it has that. But at the same time, that's not, you know, that's not everything. Um, if you want to customize that, you've still kind of got to change that and update that with whatever you want. This may not be true if you have 50 people on the invite and only 10 show up. It's not necessarily tracking your participants. Um, so it's not perfect, but, you know, it, it does something. Um Notice with Trello, sure, the ease of setting up, if you haven't used it before, it can be a bit more of a learning curve. But once you actually create the format that you want here, it's pretty simple to just take this list and um, copy this list and call it, you know, February 29th, 2022, whatever you want. And it will create a list with just what you need where you can pencil in all the details that you want. Um, so that's what that does. Um, as far as another category I like to consider with meeting tools, um, threading previous meetings together. So in a Google Doc, there's a couple different ways you could do this. Um, you could have each meeting be its own document, which is what you need to do if you use this sort of click to create a meeting approach. But if you want to keep them all together, you can just have a recurring Google Doc where it's, you know, this is your weekly uh, team meetings. And so that's your template. And then you just copy that for each week. And if you want to see previous weeks, you just scroll around. Um, that's okay. It's not great in my opinion, because this can get a bit long and you, there's no way to go through it except for by scrolling. Whereas in Trello, yes, you'll still need to scroll around, but at least you can quickly find the sections you're looking for with each list. And you can filter by things that are, assigned to you if you want to be able to quickly see over a period of time things that relate to you or things that relate to a specific project or things that are due in certain frequencies. So I just think that's something worth mentioning there. Um, another area I'd compare Trello versus Google Docs is um, getting people to use or access the agenda. And, you know, as much as I hate to say it, I kind of have to give Google Docs the win here just because everyone is pretty much used to Google Docs these days and especially for using it for meeting notes. And you might not be as used to it with Trello. Your team might not be as used to it. But um, if you're one of my Patreon subscribers or a paid subscriber to my Substack, I've actually created this video that's less than five minutes and will show your team how to use Trello for meetings. So it will just take a couple minutes to get your team up to speed and pass that learning curve because I definitely think all the other benefits majorly outweigh that. Um, and so it's definitely worth, you know, getting over that hump. But I, you know, admit it's very easy to get started with Google Docs and everyone's pretty familiar with it. 
One other area I'd compare it on is taking action on follow-up items. And this is one where I definitely think Trello is stronger because while in Google Docs, you can say, check with team on X, you can highlight an item and um, you can comment and tag someone in it. You can technically assign it to people um, by clicking like that and it'll sign and it'll give you this little UI but there's not a great way to see where all of these are grouped together and where all of your action items are. Whereas I feel like that's actually where Trello shines because I can create an action item and say, you know, follow up with X on Y and assign that to myself. And then I can filter the board by cards assigned to me so I can see what's actually assigned to me and what I need to do. Um, I can also add due dates on it. So I could say this needs to happen on the 8th. And then I can either, you know, can add more to my filter of things that are due in the next month. Or I could even view this in a calendar view where I can just actually see a visualization of when all of my items are due. So I think Trello definitely takes the win on following up with these action items and making clear accountability for who needs to do what after a meeting. And then the last area that I like to kind of compare is on automation. And uh, I did show you that first piece where you can kind of create this template for a meeting out of the box, which is great. But to be honest, that's about the only automation Google Docs has for meetings. And even Zapier can't really help you out because all it has there for triggers is when a new document is created or a new document in a specific folder. It does not parse through text in a meeting for you know being able to trigger specific action items like creating a card in Trello or something else. So I definitely recommend Trello for automation because you can do things like Adding a comment in a card uh, creates a new item with that comment and assigns that person. Or you could say, um, you know, you could create a button that archives all the cards in a list or something at the end of a list uh, or sorry, at the end of a meeting where it archives all of the cards that are in there. Um, you could also create a rule that automatically assigns a specific due date based on the list it falls in. So if you create a card, maybe it automatically is due within seven days or something like that. So, um, so yeah, Trello definitely takes the win there for me. So when it comes to what is better for meeting agendas, Google Docs or Trello, um, you're probably not surprised that I think the answer is Trello just because it's easier to assign owners and visualize who owns what from those action items. Uh, you can just copy a list to create a new meeting template. You can easily go through all of your previous meetings and see, you know, any trends or any things that are commonly discussed. You can visualize due dates. You can use labels to sort the agenda and action items by specific projects or categories. And there's just automation possibilities with it, um, so much more so than with Google Docs. So like I said, really the only con is if your team isn't already using Trello, it might require a bit of a learning curve, but I've got a four and a half minute video that will walk your team exactly through what they need to know. And if you're interested in that, um, sign up for my Patreon. I've got a link below here in the comments and just search for it. You will find it. It's seriously a great resource that you don't even have to say anything. Just send it to your team, let them watch it, and you all will be good to go with using Trello for meetings and getting things done and you know spending less time thinking about this meeting could have been an email uh, because it's actually going to be productive and worth everyone's time. So hope this helps. And I'm curious if you have any thoughts or any other tools that you use for meeting agendas um, or notes. I'd love to compare it and see how Trello stacks up.